Now I'm going to measure a pair of progressive lenses. Um, we're on auto detect here, so it'll automatically detect the progressive when I put the lens on there. However, there is an order to the process to make that work. So if you look at the target here, you can see the number one blinking, and this image is showing the near channel. So what I want to do is I'm going to place the lens down, similar to what I did with the single vision lens, but I'm going to start in the add uh, portion, and then that number one changes to a two. It's telling me to move to the distance section. So I'm going to push the system through, and you can see that the measurement target changed. So when you're doing a progressive, I'm now trying to line up my distance vision, and I'm just going to get that cross in the center of the circle, and I'm just following this arrow here. So I'm just going to move it toward the center. Once it beeps, it's now locked in, and it's asking me for the add power. So then I'm going to pull it back, follow the arrow, and once I see that cross on the screen in the near channel, you just try and keep that centered, and then when you get to the end, you can see that the cross, the right and left sides have, have elongated. And then it'll lock in place. Okay, I'm just going to repeat that for the other eye, but this time I can go right to the distance because it already knows I measured a progressive on the right eye. I can go right to the distance for the left. So it locked in my distance correction. And now I pull it through the add channel. And then when I get to the end, it automatically locks in and then prints our results.